Hello, this is my water-based secret door. It's based on a T flip-flop and a, a double clock delay. Because making a, a redstone repeater delay is so big. It works like this. Push the secret, very secret button. And water stops flowing. And it's a very long delay. Well, so sort of long. <laughs> a couple of minutes, enough to get in. And it's all based around this simple T flip flop. Buttons are down there and up here. And the output goes over here and up to the piston embedded in the mountain. Uh, um, yeah, that's another thing. Anyway, uh, the output of the T-flip uh, flop is also going to a rising edge detector, uh, which sends a signal to these two clocks, which is simply uh, redstone repeaters in a row going around, around, around. So the signal goes round, round, and this on the side is a transistor. And the transistor is connected to this AND gate. So whenever both clocks are in sync at this point, the AND gate will generate a signal from here, and that signal will will power the relays, uh, I mean the transistors, or relays, but the same thing, and that makes the signal not propagate. So the clocks stop. Uh, from the AND gate also uh, goes, the signal also goes to this little thing, which is simply a signal extender, uh, which makes my T flip flop flip because the signal that comes from this uh, clock based system is too short to trigger the T flip flop. It probably can be fixed in the flip flop, but I want the small version. <laughs> uh, this is a simple a comparator which checks if the door is open. It will not send a signal to open the door again, which would create multiple signals in the, in the clocks and make them run forever. Because I haven't really come up with a good way to make a reset line. Somehow you could power this uh, transistor, or well, both of the transistors, and that would stop the clocks. But I'm not sure how to make a reset line that, that's actually on for long enough. Um, so anyway, let's see it in action. Press the button. Light turns on. If the light would be constantly on, it would be rather easy to see the secret entrance <laughs> where it goes away. And after a little while, it turns back on. Um, the door is hidden. Uh, I don't have a start button inside, so I can't really show the, the circuit in action. I'd have to get a friend to push the button for me. Uh, but I'll try and get as much as I can from it. You can't see the... I won't be able to catch the, the, the rising edge detector, but anyway. So I press the button, and the rising edge detector sends a signal to the clock, which runs. And these clocks are made so they're not in sync when they start. You see, this one's a little bit shorter than all of the others. A shorter delay than the others. So the, the clock will not be in, in perfect sync. So, so the delay gets much longer. And I guess that's it.